Hello again. So what I want to share with you now is how we can get rid of this dependency from another table. So this is definitely useful if you don't want to maintain a singular data because let's say you have a lot of people coming in every day in your establishment. So let's say you want to remove this and like just cut off this connection here and then we just refer to the title. So this title, we can basically call it now visitor name and then have everything like just a simple data, just like this, just the, the whole, just this table without that visitor name. So let's get started. So we can keep it here, but we'll just ignore it. Like let's pretend it doesn't exist. So in our app, we have this one and then what we can do we just we still keep the previous field check in date time where we're getting the uh current time and then let's just put the visitor name let's say let's have the name like john cena and forest okay so that's this vehicle registration so we have that one and then we got it submitted so even if we don't have that visitor name it's still entered and there we have the data there so now we want to put a checkout time for john cena so in here in the sign out form instead of referencing the list from uh, from the visitors list what we will do is we will try to get the people from from that list so we will do in here uh um we will call this one the, the items for this one will be the visitor entry list and then what we will do so you see immediately it will show up but it will show also um the company so what we want is not the company name we want to show the title which shows the name of the people in here so we we have all the names by just using this table as a source but we should remove people who have already checked out so that we want to have a shorter list of people because we don't want like a hundred people showing in here. So what we can do is we can filter this out where uh, is blank. Check out date time. So just ignore this delegation for now. Delegation is this warning here it's really important but maybe you can like work on this later if you have more advanced knowledge but let's ignore it for now since we're just trying to do the basics so john like we have this one so as you can see only john cena will show in here because he's the only one in the record who hasn't clocked out yet so you just do that and then in the sign out we don't need this very long list. What we will do is we just have this one here and then we can shorten it up like this one drop down. One drop down one that's selected. So what it will do is it will ensure that anyone at that the record that is currently selected is gonna be checked out so let's see john cena who signed him out now there's no more people in the list so we just refresh this and then john cena is out so if you have a couple of people in here so let's say ABC. And then we have another person, maybe James. 
don't know any James last name. So company J O N vehicle. Yeah, maybe let's have that. So if we go to the sign out form, we're gonna have two people in here, and then we can just sign them out, and then you can see in here like James. Oh, we we sign out Adam, and then James is still here. So it's far more a uh, cleaner process if you have this thing. But I'm not sure really what's your internal requirement. This is just a demonstration of other ways to do a visitor entry list so there's tons of different ways to do power apps but for beginners it's best to just do this thing just to get your your head around how the app works and then eventually you're gonna be more like more perceptive of what are the other functions of different controls and then that's when you can explore other ways you can do this kind of app maybe in the future i will release my own version of a visitor entry registration list so that is